Hi, this is Camilla Blossom. And I wanted to share um, experiences in this metamorphosis that we are all in as humans, because I'm noticing very deeply within myself and also with my clients and patron community. We humans are in a very, very deep and very emotionally intense time of metamorphosis. And I use that word because it is deeper and stronger than transformation and change. This may affect people in very different ways, but if you are an empath, a sensitive, a star seed, you know, really on a spiritual path, you may be going through a very um, strong time as your energies, your body, your psyche, everything shifts within you. We are being held and loved and honored. And I just wanted to share a little bit about this to help you feel maybe less alone because there are certain symptoms of ascension that we're in. There are certain symptoms of spiritual awakening. There's certain symptoms of moving from 3D to 5D. And so the more we can accept and allow, surrender to it, allow the energy shifts, allow ourselves to honor what we're going through and take time out, take care of ourselves, rest more, um, be in nature, um, get your feet, your bare feet on the earth. Those are all things that will help tremendously. And really by slowing down, being very conscious of what you do, that will also support you. So some of the symptoms you may have experienced or be experiencing are loneliness, longing, the sense of so much longing in your heart for, for what you um, remember or what you want to create. And that can be for intimacy, for just to kind of connect you with your passion. Longing is a powerful feeling. A sense of no direction. You can't make choices. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're doing next. This is all part of the ascension process. Disconnection. Mm, physical issues. A lot of things flaring up that are um, our body's way of telling us that we need to pay attention and listen to what that is or what emotional issue or what ancestral you know what wants to move through our body uh 3d doesn't make sense a lot of things may not make sense for you like what are we doing like why does it matter what is this like who cares <laughs> had those days like whatever <laughs> here i am um exhaustion no sense of community. This is a huge one. So much of us are like, we want our community. We want our soul kin. Um, and there's a lot of people very isolated. I talk to a lot of people like that. They do not find their, they're not finding their community. So be patient as your energy finds its alignment. You will align with those that you need to be with or you want to be with. Releasing people, jobs, you know, anything old, it needs to be shed, like the six snake skin. Sense of no identity. It's like, who am I? I'm not the same person. I don't identify myself with the roles I used to play. What people think who I am is not who I am anymore. Like really allowing yourself permission to let go and let that fall away. That's part of unplugging from the matrix, right? Those cultural norms and ideas and parental um, ideas for us. Ancestral trauma issues. This is, comes up quite a bit. There's, if we aren't clearing out the past and honoring our ancestors, and if there's been a lot of trauma, you might need to do very specific um, ancestral trauma work. If that's something you're interested or need help with, um, I do offer that. Stuck in patterns um, that need to, like how do you break free from, from these ways that you're, you habitually do or have done your whole life? 
Um, and then your energetics gets opening, you know, in these symptoms, these are kind of some of the things we may struggle with, but in that there's just this amazing, beautiful awakening and remembering and reconnecting, um, to the alignments of our new gifts and our new expression and a trust, trust that we don't need to be pushing or making anything happening happen or accomplishing that we can surrender more and trust that spirit is with us. Our guides are here. Our ancestors are here and they are guiding the way they are supporting us. They're helping us. I can just feel my heart open talking about this. So the message is to really take good care of yourself right now. Um, we're in April and this may extend for a while. The energies of the eclipse just whoosh, open things way up. So yes, yeah, spend time in nature. And if you do need support and guidance, um, healing work, I am, I do offer that. And you can learn more about what I offer from CamillaBlossom.com. Thank you so much and take good care. Just know you are not alone. You are loved and you are important. Thank you.